Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to make a journal spread inspired by Breakfast Tiffany. I will be using the Breakfast Tiffany pack. I will be using the iconic woman Rabon sticker pack. This one is a little different, it's Rabon. So I will show you how, how to do the Rabon sticker. And then I will be using the Rono paper pad. So I will be using these three items to do a quick journal spread. Let's do it! My name is Ron Ron Deval and I am a fashion artist. Before we dive into the spread, I want to show you a quick flip through of those stickers if just in case if you haven't saw those before. So this is an eight-page hand illustrated sticker packs that with a silver foil. In case you haven't seen those packs, I'm going to do a quick flip through so you know what's inside. So this is an eight-page of hand illustrated stickers included with a silver foil. And then those are hand illustrations that make both functional and decorative all together. So you see we have some big washi strips, we have some boxes, checkers, and the small washies. So we have about four pages of those functional boxes. Over here, shopping list, classy and fabulous, a girl should be two things, classy and fabulous. Eat diamond for breakfast and shine all day. Yeah, I would love to do that. <laughs> So the rest of the four page are um, more of the girls and the elements. Some classic scene from the movie that uh, we illustrated into the stickers. And then we have some the, the important elements from the movie as well. And then with some quotes and um, yeah, to mix together. But here, this one too, nothing is impossible. You, when the world is itself says impossible. So how cool is that? I never noticed that. So this is a page of this Breakfast Tiffany. It's great to like, some people make use this as like theme party. If they have a party, wedding shower, baby shower, or like birthday, they use those packs. And then this one is iconic woman rub -on sticker pack. It has a seven sheets of rub -on. So each sheets have a, a like iconic woman with themselves and some quotes and this is a rub on is that you will cut it and this one is a Celine Dion, this one's Beyonce, this one's Selena, so this one's Marilyn Monroe. I like I ask my followers on Instagram who are their like icons so those are come up the most so I make them into the iconic woman. And there are so many more. So I, I just can't fade them all, but I maybe down the road, I will have a second one. So this one is a Frida, Princess Diana, and then Audrey Hepburn. So I'll be using this one uh, because I have this Audrey is bigger. So I think it, it will look better. And uh, uh, for the rub on sticker, I can show you how to how to do that. So what you will do, maybe I will choose the Beyonce one. So what you will do is cut it. You will cut like this. And then you will find where you want to place it. For example, let's make a, find a paper for example, we'll do the back of the paper. We'll do it here. So what you will do is you will find, for example, I want to do it here. I want to place it here. You just um, peel it, but try not have your finger touch the artwork. Just hold it on the side and peel it and then place this to where you want to do. So I'll place it here and then I'll just use my finger to press back and forth a couple of times. Make sure it's it really like press firmly on the paper. Make sure it transfer well on, on it. So let's see how it goes. And then I will peel the top film off 
slowly. It's better to do it from the top, I think. Yeah, you just use your nail, peel it firmly and slowly peel it off. Ha! Hey, hey. So that's how we do the rub on sticker. The good thing about the rub on is that you don't have that sticker like thickness. So it's almost like printed on your planner or on your journal. And the color is very, very vibrant. So I have been in love with those rub on. And uh, this one iconic woman is on the rub on pack. So hope you like it. Now, let me do a quick flip through of this uh, paper pad. So this paper pad, I pick all my like favorite artwork, I make them into a pattern. So that way you can use this paper pad for like making cards, you can make planner cover, dashboard, so many ways you can do it. So this pattern is a lipstick pattern. This one is all makeups. This page is that you can cut them up and then use them on to like, you can use them as washi, you can make, put them on your scrapbooking type of project or making cards, all sorts of uh, usage you can make, or you can comment below what will you use this for and give me some ideas. And then uh, some of the page that has gold foil to combine with. So as you can see, this one is the heels and hustle collection with like heels, and this one is the leopard thing. So I put the leopard girl here. And then this page is all like leopard related. And this one is a whole page of leopard print. Next one, we have the plant lady collection. So this is a pattern of the plant lady. And then this is a coordinate boxes, washi tapes. There's so many ways you can use it. And uh, as you are so creative, maybe you can give me some suggestion. How can I use this? But my envisions, I can make cards, I can use them in my planner spreads and in my just journal. So many ways to use it. This page is a everyday life type of pattern. I have the bag, glasses, coffee, sneaker, planner. So many ways you can use this. Um, I'm thinking I can make a planner spread. We can make a planner cover. This one is a, a flower pattern. So it's from the self love collection. The whole pad, it has 15 sheets that you can uh, use and plan. Now let's dive into the journal. I just use a journal I pick up from a staple because I want to practice more before I like invest more into those like popular journals. I just want to practice and their paper actually is very nice. I don't write much on it. I just practice my creativity. So I think this one is good enough for beginners like me. <laughs> okay, to start, I'm gonna pick out the this paper from the my paper pad. I usually like to tear some of the paper and put them on the top and bottom as like set up a base. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually tear a little bit of those uh, paper and then use it as a, a base. Cut the corner. And then I, I have the tape too, glue tape. Hey, okay. I'm gonna make it on the top bottom here. This, then I'm gonna make another one because balance is important. <laughs> so actually I'm gonna cut, cut it here and then place it here. Maybe tear a little more, too much. Then tip it. Maybe a little bit more here. Okay, and then I'm going to dive into the Black for Breakfast and Tiffany pack. The reason I choose the polka dot, I think, is kind of um, this sticker is mainly turquoise and black and then black and white polka dot is kind of a neutral base for this type of spread. First, I want to put some washi strip first. Yeah, I like big artwork. So 
I want to set up the the foundation for the big art. I'm going to put it here. This is a thick washi strip with all the shoes, glasses, pattern stuff. I want to pick the big ultra happen from the rub on sticker over here since this is a, like the center. So I want to put her in the middle first. So I will just cut it. I'll cut this and then like we like I showed you earlier, I will peel it and then place her in the middle here. And then I will rub on back and forth. Okay, now I'm going to slowly peel it. Oh, look, now it's on my journal and it looks like printed on. I'm so happy with those uh, rub on stickers. And then I want this big chandelier as well. I'm going to use this one on top of her. I feel like she's sitting in the restaurant. I have a chandelier. And then I also want to add a quote next to her over here. So I'm going to use this. Uh, I want to see if there's a single quote. Actually, I'm going to use breakfast and Tiffany because that's the thing. So I'm going to use this over here. And then I want to add some turquoise. That's like the main color. So I'm going to add some turquoise on. I'm going to add some flowers, add some Tiffany boxes, and then some of the, maybe a cat. Yeah, to add around here, I feel like that will give some extra vibe to it. This one next to here. Then we'll add the boxes. Tiffany, little Tiffany blue. Some more boxes. And then um, the little cat. Oh, actually the cat has a quote link to it. I will find another one. Actually, I'm just gonna peel it and then cut it the quote separate the quote and the cat and then put the cat here you just add another box okay and then want to add a little little washi strip over here under her table then i'll put the rest somewhere and then over this side, actually, I want to add uh, some small stuff like a croissant, a macaron, just, you know, fill in the space and make it pretty and the rain. And then over here, I want to make this artwork as uh, the major one. So one of this one, it says the most important thing is enjoy your life. Be happy is all that matters. It's all, yeah, it's all that matters. So that's a really good quote. I want to put it in the middle, put her in the middle, maybe here. And then I want a box. Maybe I'll put the shopping list box over here next to her. And then we'll put, so this part is more decorative and this part can be a little more functional, I think. I'll put the goals uh, sticker over here so I can write down some of the goals. I want to add some silver. Yeah, I'll add this silver box to here overlap. We will cover this, cover Audrey Happen. Maybe I can cut, but without rolling it. Otherwise, let's see. <laughs> let's see my skills. Okay, I did cut it, but it's a little big, too big. But it's better than I run the whole thing. I also want some flower, more flower to decorate her. I'm gonna add a lot of, uh, not a lot, but I want to add some flower to be around her. Maybe over here, around this box. Actually, I want to add this eye mask. How cute is this eye mask? I'm gonna add this one to around her as well because 
she so this is like a dressed up go to the restaurant and this one is more like in the morning i'm still sleepy <laughs> kind of thing maybe here around this flower i want to see if i can I have a full one maybe this one so i'm gonna cut the the dots and make a a dot sticker around the edge of the paper i like to go in without any like plan just figure out it's really fun want to put it on the spine not the spine but the edge turquoise polka dot and then maybe some some stuff here because kind of i want to leave them open because i want the the center point to be like here actually i'm gonna put a journal because i i feel like in the morning she just wake up have her head have her cat and then she she needs a coffee and then she needs her planner so she can start planning her day <laughs> maybe i'll put the planner here need to put this planner here i will put a little phone telephone here maybe she needs to make a reservation for the for tiffany's you know tiffany have a restaurant now so if she know back then she will make a phone call to make a reservation yeah i think i'm pretty happy with my spread of course it's not a planner it's just a journal and i just kind of have found to make a pretty page to this is definitely not functional i can't plan my week but it's fun for me to experiment with my creativity in a different way not just drawing but also put stuff together and uh, express the creativity in different ways so anyway i hope you like my beginner spread and then you can find all this stuff in my shop down the link below below shopperon.com and uh, I can't wait to see you next time. In the meantime, I hope you practice your creativity on your planner, on your journal or draw however you want because creativity is what we live for. So see you next time. Bye.